Today, the World Health Organization released its first set of recommendations for globally reducing the risk of dementia. They include regular exercise and eating well, but for those already suffering memory loss, music is becoming a common therapy. News Channel East Victoria Price joins us now with a look at how one Bay Area facility is turning to technology for treatment. Victoria. You know, Jen, most people would associate music apps like Spotify with a younger generation, but they're becoming a tool for dementia patients to listen to songs and to trigger memories from long before smartphones ever existed. Once upon a time, John Musselin and his wife, Marcia, would dance the night away. Why, uh, sure, we did, right? <laughs> yeah, we did. Marcia doesn't dance much anymore. So that, She's in assisted kind of living for dementia, so but nice the music's the still there. Johnny Nash was one of them that she was really into. Um, Elvis Presley, Dean Martin. At the watermark at Trinity in Newport Ritchie, Jasmine Cabrera is using the music app Spotify to create custom playlists for memory loss therapy. Patients or their families fill out forms to give staff an idea of important songs from their past, like the first dance at their wedding or the theme to their favorite show. I've seen people that um, maybe had their head down and after hearing the music, um, they perk up and they start singing the words to the song. Memories tied to music are stored in a different part of the brain, so they can be accessed even as memory loss from dementia progresses. As patients remember songs from decades ago, staff like Jasmine are introduced to music they never knew. How do you know that song? And I'm like, well, so-and-so taught this song to me. Well, his wife's playlist crisscrosses decades and genres. John Musselin has no doubt it's helping. Music is important, it really is. The World Health Organization says dementia affects 50 million people worldwide with 10 million new cases every year. Live tonight in Tampa, Victoria Price, News Channel 8.